to Winnie's 12 week update. Uh, so this weekend she is officially three months old. Um, hopefully by now you have seen the initial videos of us getting her. Um, I will link that up in the card. I think it's probably going to be two parts. I've not yet edited it but um, yeah so I'm not quite sure how long she's going to stick around for because she's very fidgety and whiny at the moment. She wants to go and say hello to Baloo. Um, oh! Uh, but I thought we would do a little update with her so I'll try and include sort of some clips and pictures of things as we go along can you see those bitey little teeth um, but yeah so uh, today is the 2nd of May um, and it's Monday the bank holiday on Friday she went and got her second lot of vaccinations Darren took her and he said that she was really really good um, the vet was really pleased with her he says um, she's 2.8 kilograms at the moment and he only expects her to get to about five or six which um, was a lot smaller than we thought um, her mum was quite a bit bigger um, but I think the dad was a little toy poodle so um, yeah but she is this fiery red little girl Um, she loves when she sees herself in the mirror she absolutely loves it so if you hear things I think she's just gonna sit there with her toy um, so how have things been they have been a lot I forgot what it's like to have a puppy you know the last puppy we had was about 12 13 years ago when Toby our little Yorkie was a puppy or our family Yorkie obviously we got blue a couple of years ago and he was already seven so this is the first time of us properly doing the puppy thing and everything that comes along with it I think the two most challenging things have been the sort of um leaving of her um for you know obviously when we go um out for a period of time um, we do have someone come in the day to come and sit with her and Baloo um and um that's sort of what's worked best for us so far um but it is she is still crying quite a bit um and getting used to being left on her own she is really sort of needy and attached to us um since day one um we probably made a slight ride off our own back and from maybe the second night she was in bed with us so um she does have a crate um which she will go in um when she's left on her own we put her we separate her and blue for now because she can get a bit too much for blue um i will go on to that as well in a bit um so that's been the first sort of tricky thing and then the other thing has been just um toilet training um which is to be expected some days she can be really good go on her mat you know she's really good at actually going outside um we had like the bells on the door and she just started to use that to play with and sometimes she just wants to go out and play um which you know is fine but sometimes it's like every like 10 minutes um so obviously we let her out in case she does need to go to the toilet and she ends up just like trying to eat flowers or bring in a stone or something so that can be slightly frustrating um she has had you know a number of accidents in the house um it has just been really rocky it feels like especially yesterday it felt like we were going backwards like she wasn't using her her mats at all today she has um which is really good and obviously we're praising her we're giving her a biscuit when she goes outside um and like i feel like we're trying everything like we know all the things to do but um i think it might be just a case of what are you doing of time and you know as she gets older and can hold her bladder for longer um so yeah that's been really tricky uh what else uh, i've got some notes uh one thing which was super cool is someone posted a photo on um the toy miniature poodle group that um i'm part of on facebook and i just scrolled through and i was like that little girl that little poodle looks really familiar it looks like winnie um and um I can talk about the, where we got the name Winnie. I've always just loved that as a little girl's name, especially for a dog. Um, and obviously Winnie the Pooh and Baloo has sort of the Disney theme name. That's the name he came with. Um, so yeah, and I commented, I was like, oh, she looks a lot like our little Winnie. And we just sort of chatted about how old they were and they were the same age. And then we were like, oh, where did you get them from? And we got them from the same woman um, in Burwood. 
and we ended up finding two sisters um, which is really cool um, and we have a little whatsapp group now of them and it's really nice to see some of the others because um, it was just her and one other boy I think that was left when we came across her so um, it's really nice to get some more information about them um, and see you know what what they look like colour wise that sort of thing um, and yeah very very cute um they all seem like they're right little madams um she definitely lives up to like her fiery redhead uh nature darren says i'm ginger so um we kind of match kind of um but yeah i have always wanted are you starting to chew bits off this now um, I have always wanted a little apricot or red miniature poodle um, and so I knew as soon as we saw her you know that was that uh, there was no going back so um, yeah and just fell in love so what else can I say she is really like food orientated from the start she like whenever we have something to eat she is there she loves her dinner she will scoff it down so quickly like super super food orientated so i think training wise that's the way maybe to go um she is chewing us to bits or me to bits at least like my hands are all super super scratched up i don't know if you can see um because she just bites um obviously she's teething she has super sharp claws at the moment she's chewing on this this is actually a baby toy that i got in tk maxx and i wish i got more they had no more when i went back um because it's got like the rattle and the squeak she loves this bit on the end um i am having to be careful now she's really like chewing bits off it where you going um but we've got like these teething rings and the bone this is like super good in the mornings when she comes back to bed and we want to go back to sleep um this is really good uh, so yeah she is just biting me to shreds she's not done so much like sitting and chewing on things um we remove everything that's sort of le like low level for her in the kitchen and you know she's not anywhere long enough to sort of scratch something up or bite something because like obviously we'll take it off her or tell her no she loves to pull on a blanket or a towel sometimes she'll like drag the bath mat out um uh she loves a shoe at the moment she loves darren's crocs and trainers and she'll like run and take them and then we've got like a bean bag um sort of foot rest um in the lounge and she loves that um as like her little bed in the in the lounge and then she also uses that to jump up on the sofa um she has learned to go up the stairs now which is great but we are still working on going down the stairs she can't do that uh, so sometimes she'll get herself up there and then realize she can't get herself back down and just start whining uh so how has she been getting on with the other dogs in the family so obviously blue was like my main concern um going in and getting her um at the start with he was like obviously really like not tolerative of her growling every time she came near Winnie was like super interested in him or just wanted to play like who is this new brother like super super excited what's this um and as the weeks have gone on you know we've had her about three weeks now um as the weeks have gone on she and him have really sort of bonded I wouldn't say like their brotherly sisterly love like forever um but he's definitely a lot more tolerative um and doesn't like grumble at her when she like passes um he will you know if she's too much he will tell her and he will not snap but you know when they just like tell them off he will do that and she knows when she is too much she will still try and play with him um hey on the whole they're getting on well which it was my main concern getting them um obviously last year when we tried to rescue cooper um i don't know if i mentioned this in a past video we did try and rescue another dog winnie she's just having a wee in the office see what i mean about toilet training she's just not fab i'm gonna clear that up and come back yeah that was my main concern after we had sort of that failed attempt last year um but yeah on the whole they're getting really well she's now trying to eat the wool out of my knitting bag so that was the main thing um oscar who's the westie of the family i'm not even sure he even realizes she's about um 
he kind of sniffed her and he's not well at the moment that's a whole nother story and i mentioned it in my update that's not for this video um so i'm not sure how much he knew she was actually around toby who is our yorkie is always scared of new dogs um he is just in general a scaredy dog um so it will take him hey 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 it will take him a while to warm up to her um, but he has got braver with her over the last couple of days before he would just sort of run out the room um, and now he's actually sitting in the same room as her um, and yeah I think because he runs away from her initially hey hey because he runs away from her she thinks it's a game and runs after him and he doesn't like that so we're getting there slowly um, and then um, my aunt's dog Dolly who is a pug um, she's the only other girl in our family and like they have really bonded the two of them like they'll play with each other they played outside with the ball together put her in her place which was really funny to see but she's the one that's been most receptive of her off the bat I'd say like they sniff each other it's really cute to see so that's good hey darling I know you just want to play I know you want to play with Baloo, but he's downstairs with Daddy. Yes, he's downstairs with Daddy. Daddy's doing important phone calls. Yes, he can't have you all over him, because you will. At the moment, um, sometimes Darren's getting up in the night with them. I don't hear that. Um, and then they're getting up pretty consistently at 5 o'clock to go out and try and have their breakfast. We don't always give it to them at that time. Winnie Woo! what is the matter um and then she gets really hyped up and it takes her a while to sort of calm down and go back to sleep um when darren was away this weekend on a little lad's climbing trip um and it was just me looking after them they're actually a lot better through the night they only woke me up at five o'clock um there wasn't any messes in the night and um she went back to sleep pretty quickly so that was nice um and yeah so that's that um she's getting a few nicknames already um so i'll see her name's winnie so she's getting uh winnie bago uh winnables uh win win winnie woo um they're just some that she started off with um darren has such a funny little voice for her she's like this little cockney girl swears like a trooper um and just yeah really funny she loves her nanny and her grandpa my parents she's not met darren's mum um yet or her dog so that would be interesting to see what she's like with a bigger dog um she is so desperate to go out on her walks um we have tried um putting her in a bag when we go out and she always just wants to climb out of it it's really difficult um we've taken her to like haskins and a little local cafe and once we're there she's fine she settles down um but she just wants to be out she wants to walk uh, she just wants to do what blue's doing so she has to wait another two weeks now unfortunately for her vaccinations to fully immerse um but yeah desperate for that we are so I think that's mostly everything that I wanted to cover, but she is just super, super feisty. Um, she has had her first bath um, and she's always really intrigued, like when we're in the shower or the bath, but um, as soon as we put her in, she wanted to get out. Um, so yes, I'm going to wrap this up because she's getting pretty needy. Um, but yeah, hopefully I will do some more updates. So yes, me and Winnie are going to go now because she's getting pretty cranky. Um, I hope you enjoyed seeing this little update of her and we will see you very soon. Bye guys.